The Today's Word Podcast with Rick Pena. Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you Today's Word for May 2nd, 2018. I was teaching a series, or I am teaching a series entitled Back to the Bible, but today I want to do something a little bit different. So yesterday I was at an event, and the Lord really dealt with me at this event, and I meditated what happened like throughout the day. So today I want to share a message entitled Modeling God. I want to share a message about the power of what can happen when God places someone before you that can just model something, model divine success, where now you can see yourself operating on a level that maybe you had not seen yourself operating in before. So let's get into that message on today, Modeling God, May 2nd, 2018. So yesterday I was at the Children's Science Center here in Northern Virginia, and the event was a, a fundraiser for a new facility. Now during the breakfast, three children spoke, um, and one of them was a 11-year-old Latina girl, uh, a Hispanic girl, and uh, she spoke of her dream of working at NASA someday as a scientist. And um, later, the girl's mother spoke, and the girl's mother um, came to this country when she was 13 years old, and uh, she's also Latina, and so she's up there, and she was speaking, and she's a kindergarten teacher. And as she was speaking, you know, she's, she had a heavy um, Spanish accent, and um, she talked about being the first of her family to go to college in the United States. And, um, you know, and then she talked about the challenges that she had with her daughter. So her daughter was always smart um, and uh, very bright. However, her daughter struggled with self-confidence. And um, so I'm sitting there and uh, I am the son of immigrant parents. Bo both of my parents are immigrants from the Dominican Republic and uh, to this country, and I'm married to an immigrant. So my wife actually immigrated to this country when she was about 20 years old. So um, this kind of struck a chord with me. So I'm, I'm just sitting there, I'm listening, you know, I'm tuned in by this point. And she starts to talk about her daughter and how her daughter struggled with self-confidence. And though, although she was wicked smart, she would also d always doubt what, you know, what she could do. And she, she was like, I don't know. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could do this. And she struggled to instill a certain level of confidence in her daughter. And her daughter was always struggling with her self-confidence, right? And so then she, she took her to this science center and uh, there, uh, here in Northern Virginia. And she kind of connected with the program. And then at some point, they brought in Latina professional women um, to speak to young girls. And uh, these Latina professional women came in and they would spend time over a span of a few weeks with these young girls. And at this point, this 11 year old girl was able to see women who are grown women now who look like her, who probably sound like her and her mom. Right. And and kind of like, wow, is somebody I can relate to is somebody uh, I can emulate, somebody I can connect with. And once she saw a model of what it looked like to be what she wanted to be in life, once she saw the model, her whole inside changed, her self-confidence changed. And then now she's able to see it. And so now she talks about very confidently uh, how she is going to work at NASA and, and her mom, and she's working on her mom and her mom is believing God to get her to Virginia Tech and, and all of this stuff. So now everything changed. Why? Because she saw a model. The point is that you can never be what you cannot see. You, you don't know what's possible. Well, you can know it, but you don't really internalize what's possible until you can connect with something that you consider to be possible in your own life. So there, there are things that are possible for many other people, but unfortunately, sometimes when you don't see it for yourself, you, you, your heart is close to it. And so you got to be in a position where God will do this for you, where he will connect you with models. He will connect you with mentors. He will connect you with spiritual coverings, spiritual parents, where you can see something on another level. And once you see it, then you can be it. The principle is this. If you cannot see it, you cannot be it. If you cannot see it, then you cannot have it. It has to happen on the inside before it happens on the outside. And that's how it happens with God. So today, I just want to talk about modeling God, receiving models from God, being a model for others in this world. What does this mean to you today on this? This Wednesday morning. I have four things or uh, actually five things to share with you. So let's get into those very quickly. You ready? Here we go. Number one. Now, having a mentor is great, right? And I, I have multiple mentors. Uh, I appreciate mentoring relationships. Um, but having a mentor requires a relationship. I mean, so for you to have a mentor, for there to be a mentor and a mentee relationship, it means there has to be a relationship, right? So you need to know each other. Uh, there, there has to be a connection there. And uh, 
and but before oftentimes before a mentee is even a candidate to be a mentee they have to have the right mindset to be able to receive they have to be able to see themselves operating on a level that they're not operating on today right and so and then they have to see someone that's operating on the level that they want to be at and they have to be able to connect with that person or relate to that person so before a mentee is worthy of the investment of the mentor the mentee has to have the right mindset and this is where a model comes in see sometimes you just need someone before you can have a mentoring relationship before you can have the person's phone number before you can have the email address before all of that sometimes you just need a model sometimes you just need someone that you can relate to who can simply model something before you and if you can see someone you can relate to if you can see someone you can connect with if you can see someone that somehow connects or correlates with you in your heart doing something that you believe God called you to do then now you believe it is possible because if God did it for them God can do it for you and this is critical watch this look at me because your hands will never possess what your heart cannot believe your hands will never possess or receive what your heart cannot believe until you see it in your heart you will never have it in your hands you have to be able to see it to be it that's how it works in God so number two having a mentor is great like I said I have multiple mentors but you should never undervalue or underestimate the power of a model if you can simply identify with someone who's on that level if you can simply see someone that you can relate to in, in whatever way and then connect with them because in your mind now God did it for them and now I'm believing God to for, to elevate me or to use me in that particular way and I can relate to this person and I can see it then once and you may never have a relationship with them you may never have their, their cell phone number you may never talk to them that's okay maybe you see them online maybe you see them on the internet uh, 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 or on television maybe you see them in a magazine that's cool you see them on Instagram whatever it is if you can get a model of it and, and, and you can connect and relate to that model then if God did it for them God could do it for you it, it opens up your heart to endless possibilities. The issue is really on the inside. The issue is not on the outside. The issue is on the inside. But if it doesn't change on the inside, it will never happen on the outside, which is what I'm talking about today. Number three, let me give you a biblical example. There, God wanted to bring Jesus into this world, and he selected from the foundations of the world a young lady named Mary. Mary was supposed to be the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, the mother of our Lord. And so, so the father sent an angel to speak to Mary. And so the angel is there. He's speaking to Mary. And six months earlier, the same angel had a conversation with Mary's cousin's husband. <laughs> and so through that conversation, the word of the Lord came and Mary's cousin, Elizabeth, got pregnant in her old age. And so six months later, this same angel is having a conversation with a young girl, Mary. And, and he's saying, listen, God has selected you. You are blessed among women, among women and, and, and God has selected you to be the mother of our Lord. And she's like, well, how can this be? I just don't get it. How can this be? She could not see it, so she could not be it. She, she could not see it, so she could not have it. And so he's like, well, what do I do? What I, here is the power of a model. He says, okay, well, hey, Mary, watch this. You know Elizabeth, your cousin, right? She was like, yeah, I know Elizabeth. Well, you know Elizabeth couldn't have no babies, right? All her life. Yeah, I know that. She's been barren all her life, and now she's old. Now, we don't know how old she is, but the Bible, the Bible call her old. Now, I don't, know, I don't know how old you are, but my God, if the Bible calls you old, you're old, right? Elizabeth, the Bible says she was old. And so, so she was old. And so, so you got this young girl married and say, yeah, I know my cousin Elizabeth. She's old. She couldn't have no babies. She's never been able to have no babies. The angel said, watch this. Elizabeth is pregnant, six months pregnant right now, right now. She's six months pregnant. Here it is. Here's the powerful model. She said, what? Elizabeth, my cousin, is six months pregnant. Now, while the situation was not the same, right, because Elizabeth was on this end of the age spectrum and Mary was on the whole other end of the age spectrum. So while the situation was not the same, it doesn't matter. She could see it. And so she said, no, no, you know, your cousin Elizabeth, yeah, she can have no babies. Yeah, she's six months pregnant. Boom. Mind blown, heart open. What? She's pregnant. Yes. So she said, now, oh, I got it now. I got it. My heart is open now. I got it now. It's a supernatural thing. I got it now. It doesn't matter about human limits or human ability. I got it now. It was supernatural for her. It's supernatural for me. Mary said, Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And in that moment, she got pregnant. She got pregnant with the Lord. Why? Because she was able to see it 
Therefore, she was able to be it, but she could not be it until she was able to see it. And she only saw it through a model, through someone she can connect with, through someone she can identify with. Oh, that's my cousin. I know her. She's in my family. Somebody that looks like you, somebody you can connect to, somebody you can relate with. Number four, God will place people in your life to serve as models. And, and he places them there to serve as a model of what he wants to do in, with, and through you. These people may not be mentors. These people may not be somebody you have a relationship with or you get to talk to all the time. That's okay. All they have to do, all you got to do is see it. If I can see it, I can have it. Glory to God. So he will place people in your life to be models just to elevate, to expand your capacity to believe God. Number five, and finally, when you open up your heart to God's best, he will bless you to the point where now he's elevated you, expanded you, grown, uh, you know, developed you. You are growing and now you're operating on a level that you only dreamed of as a child. At that point, now he uses you to be a model for other people. He will he will then place you. He will model you before other people to be a picture, an example of what it looks like to operate in divine success. You will serve as a witness of what it looks like to believe the impossible to believe the invisible and, and accomplish the impossible. So what does this uh, uh, mean to you today? I want you to internalize what God is saying. Open up your heart to the possibilities. Receive the models he places before you and be a model for other people. Speak this over your life now as we close out this message. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I thank you for displaying and modeling divine success before my eyes. I see people who look like me, people I can relate to, doing what you've called me to do. Now, since you did it in them, I believe you will do it in me. I am able to see it, so I am able to be it. I am able to see it, so I know I will have it. I see the invisible. I believe the improbable, and I will accomplish the impossible by your amazing grace. My heart is open to all you want to do in my life. I am willing to learn from the models you place before me and the mentors you assign to me. Now, living this way, I'm going to change the world. <laughs> I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. There's a subscribe button. Get the messages. It's going to be a blessing to you. Before you leave the screen, I know, I know you know someone who needs to watch this video. So please share it with them and then go open up your heart to models and then be a model for other people. God bless you.